Coming on, welcome back to another episode of the wonderful The Arsenio ZSL Podcast. But I just wanted to give you guys a nice little FYI. Obviously, since last Wednesday, it is now Friday. But Wednesday morning of last week, I literally set off on a journey of getting married. Now, already being legally married, this was just the entire ceremony. And so from Wednesday, getting the rental car at an airport, driving upwards to my, uh, what is it, my wife's uh, state, and then having to do so much, especially with Thursday, being outside for about eight to nine hours, and then you know, and then having a little a little get together Thursday evening, and then on to Friday when some of my friends finally had come in from Phuket. And again, they originally come from, you know, Phoenix in Kenya, right? One's a pilot, another's a doctor. And then a lot of other people just come just streamlining in throughout the entire Friday. I had no chance to do anything. Saturday was the big day heavy with emotion, so many congratulatory thanks and so many great things that had happened. Uh, so many pictures that were taken. Oh my God, the frustration of pictures. I hate taking pictures now. Oh my God, that was like three hours of photos. But to be honest with you, I never thought these things and sharing that moment with a student who saw my entire upbringing from 2015, overcoming the racial discrimination that Thailand uh, literally imposed on my will. Uh, not only me, but of course, you know, uh, other people of color from other ethnicities, backgrounds, colors, continents, you name it. And she was there along with, you know, one of my closest friends who I ran track and field with back in high school and other people from the south of Thailand who saw me at my smallest, but now they see me at my biggest. It was a night. It was a night of dancing. It was a night of laughter. It was a night of the Thai people singing their hearts out. This guy was covered. We hired a band and boy, by the end of the night, he was covered in sweat. Man, it was beautiful. Waking up with the hangover and taking my, um, what is it? My wife's boss is the CFO of one of the major airlines out here. And another girl who was actually the subordinate of my wife and us, and of course, my two best friends, us driving to the airport, going into stormy Phuket, which was absolutely beautiful. But man, by that time, people, I was so sleep deprived. I was tired. There were so many things. I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do anything. And to be honest with you, I do not. I do not, if anyone is going to get married, please do not take your honeymoon after your marriage because you're going to be beyond tired to do anything. All right, take your honeymoon months down the line because I'm still trying to acclimate to everything that has happened over the past, you know, couple of, uh, what is it? Well, I'm sorry, the last week too. Now that I feel like I'm finally getting, you know, getting my feet underneath me, it was still so incredible. And just so tiring, but at least I was able to kind of live in the moment while I was at the Phuket Marriott in the southern part of Phuket for those two days before I came back here and just have to acclimate back to everything else. So just wanted to say, man, thank you to everyone on IG who has showed your support for the, congratu the congratulations and saying thank you so much and all the great things out there. Again, been gone for about nine days, but we're going to be diving back in to the first episode of the Be This English podcast coming up real soon. And now, on to a new life. Although this is pretty much the same situation as it has been. Nothing really changes. But, man, what a journey. And I can tell you right now, if you guys knew me back in 2016, 2015, 2014, I thought I was broke and broken because of the amount of racial discrimination I got from Thai women because of my broken mindset and me not having confidence in myself anymore, based on how schools and people and, you know, uh, older people, of course, I realized that they were the bane of all my existence. Uh, but even younger individuals not wanting to learn with me because I'm Black, couldn't get this job because I was Black, over 250 jobs, as a matter of fact, here in Thailand. Schools saying, we do not hire Black teachers, we only hire white teachers. And you could only imagine what that would do to someone, especially when I first came here in 2013, seeing those disgraceful looks on those parents' faces uh, that did not like me whatsoever because of the color of my skin. Seeing where I am now, 10 years later, 
it's a beautiful thing looking back and saying, well, now I understand what I had to go through and I had to go through my go through to get where I am now. And so that is the personal development journey that I embarked on. And a lot of you have been part of that. You know, I have uh, some of my most amazing fans from Ashburn, Virginia. They've been following me since early 2016 uh, when I started doing my personal development podcast. And, you know, uh, Trenton, New what is it? Trenton, New Jersey, Edison, New Jersey. Uh, there are quite a few places. Uh, what is it? Menlo Park, California. A lot of different specific areas that I remember at the beginning stages of my podcasting career that follow me and still do to this day. And so, boy, it is amazing to see where I used to be seven years ago and to see where I am today. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone. From the bottom of my heart, it's time to get back to it. And man, we have so much more to get into. So just wanted to send my thanks to everyone and stay tuned for more over and out.